getting warmer. All right, they're making a giant hole behind me. I should move. Cozy, almost like a natural lake from the regular world formed down here. It's got that same kind of feel to it, you know, except for the fire. <laughs> oh, wait, well, actually, you know, the fire, that definitely happens too. Hmm. This is probably the most secure area until a gas spawns in your face. <laughs> What's up guys? How you doing? So something that just occurred to me, hopefully I'm able to take care of it when I'm editing, but just in case things are looking really dark for you guys and you're having a hard time seeing, don't worry, I'm having just as hard a time seeing as you are. I will do my best to brighten things up so that way you guys are seeing at the same light level that I am, but we shall see. YouTube is always tricky when it comes to adjusting color contrast and whatnot. Hopefully it's looking good to you guys. If not, be sure to let me know, and next time we have reason to go venture forth in the, in the nether in a future chapter, I will do my best to clean that up, or tweak the settings that I'm going to be using, so that way things look better then. Got this weird urge to just wander around. So I think I will. Now that we've got a nice safe house to return to. And all I've got on me is, uh, lots of very disposable items. Ooh. Don't fail me now, wireless keyboard. Please. Hmm. Wonder how easy it is to get up to there. You know, with no cobble. <laughs> and this being the guest's favorite area to spawn in. Ooh, yeah. This is... This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. There we go. We're up here. Now let's see if we can stay up here. Now I'm just asking for it. <laughs> One gas shot and I'm taking a nice quick drop way down there. Just love how much lightstone's out here though. is so much more convenient. What's up here, by the way? Mm, I'll be back. Don't want to let that stuff down there despawn before I have a chance to collect it. Interesting random question for you guys, since I am obviously not the expert at the nether anymore. Is there a f tool of any sort, of any strength, that breaks lightstone faster than just punching it? Because that's another thing that, as far as I know, same as soul sand, doesn't matter what you break it with. It's the same amount of time to break it, whether you're using a 
pickaxe, or your fist. Or some random tool. Ooh, very nice. Another lucrative haul. So, if you guys know of any way to quickly mine that stuff up, that would be great to know. Because, you know, the faster you can get out of the open like I just was, the better when the ghasts come by. So, let's see. Where was I? Right about here, I believe. Alright. Let's see what that was back up there. It's like, what, too far? No, just in the wrong place. There we go. Alright, what is up here? Zombie pigmen? Well, go figure. It is the nether, after all. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's going on in here? Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, another cave! Unfortunately, there's nothing interesting about nether caves. Okay. This is a pretty good example, but imagine about, oh, another 10 meters or so. And by meters, I mean the height of one block. Another 10 meters or so up. This is about how I broke out into the open nether area my very first time back after the Halloween update in my private world. So imagine ending way up there in the ceiling Finally tunneling your way down, hitting the open, and going, Aha! Oh, wait. That's a long way down. How am I going to do that? And uh, I'll admit, the first few times I just jumped. Aw. He moved away from the edge. <laughs> I was feeling... Ooh, ooh, go on, go on. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> Aw. So I'm going to get some free bacon. Mmm, bacon. <laughs> so yes, I, I jumped out my first few times and was like, screw this. I think I was wearing iron armor at the time, too. So it wasn't so bad. I wasn't losing health too badly. And then one of those times when I threw it on peaceful, I finally built myself that staircase out of netherrack, which, as I said before, was a terrible, terrible mistake. The last time I went into the nether was, well, okay, I'll be honest, it was a couple weeks ago, right after, more or less, I finished Chapter 7, and I knew that the nether was going to be a possibility, so I wanted to sort of familiarize myself with the lay of the land again, so I ran in, lasted about five minutes, was running up my staircase, and... Whatever that gas sound is, I'll probably replace my voice, because that sounded terrible. <laughs> you hear the gas sound, and then BOOM! I go falling to my death. <sighs> yeah, it was one of those things where it was like, Oh god, I really hope when we get to the nether in, in the LP, it's going to be absolutely rem nothing even remotely like this. <laughs> And, I gotta say, I am happy to see it is not. Let's see. What's this way? Hmm. Love how quiet it is again. Now let's start a countdown to see just how long it is before we hear that first ghast. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Depending on whether or not I was able to do this during editing, you guys should be seeing on screen right now exactly how many seconds that was between the time I had to open my mouth and the time the ghast opened his. <laughs> Ooh, mushrooms. Okay, must say I'm feeling a little bit lost, 
I'm glad I have these torches. Whoa. Not cool, man. <laughs> Not cool. Alright, let us never, ever fall in that. Ever. <laughs> you can play all the creepy cave sounds you want, game. Nothing spawns in here but ghasts. Although I must say, I was very surprised when the nether was first added that ghasts and zombie pigmen were the only things in here. I mean, this is supposed to be the Minecraft version of hell, right? So, explain to me why it's not filled with gigantic 300 foot tall creepers all over the place. I mean, sure, the ghasts have that explosive nature to them as well, but... Not like a gigantic creeper. I mean, now that... That would truly be hellish and scary. Not that I'm trying to give Notch any ideas, of course. But, just saying, I was rather surprised that... The other hostile mobs did not also spawn in the nether. I mean, it's certainly dark enough. And... It's certainly supposed to be evil, a pl evil enough of a place. It just... T stupid mouse. <laughs> it just did not make sense that they weren't there. But then again, I think it's probably for the best. Man, there is so much easy to get netherrack. Not netherrack. Lightstone out here. It's amazing. I mean, normally this stuff is... From my experience, again, from watching other people LP in the nether... The stuff is almost always hovering above lava, like, back in front of our house. You know, it's just that, come on, try and get me. I dare ya. Oh, you fell in the lava. I'm sorry. Too bad. You know, just that whole taunting thing it does. Wow, do I even have enough netherrack to get up there? Okay, yes, I do. Got a stack in three quarters. That better be enough to get up there. Let's see, just how far up is that? Look like half a stack's worth. Okay, not bad. That's still pretty far up. 23 meters. Oh, hell. <laughs> Whiff. That was freaky. Let's see if I can get down before he strikes again. Ugh, I just realized I probably should have put out those fires. Hopefully none of the uh, dust ended up in the fire. Nice. Got another stack. Sweet. All right, well, let's see if we can't get out of here. And you know, just plain, let's see if we can see. Ugh, would you break? Oh my God, my mouse is like freaking out. Just does not want to fully complete sending a signal to the computer. It's like I hold down the mouse button long enough to break a piece of netherrack. But it's like, no, 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 I lost connection. Can't do that. <sighs> Alright. Let's head back home. Let's see if I can follow my path of torches. See, torches... Oh, okay, I know what those torches are. How did I get up here? Oh, right. Okay. Um. Huh. Uh, ow. <laughs> I just walked right into that. <laughs> uh, 
guess that's what I get for playing so many hours in a row late at night. Fortunately, it's Saturday, and I can afford to do that. Alright. That was a very weird sound. It's almost like the ghast had a misfire. He got all the way up to spitting out the fireball and then just, I don't know, choked on it or something. It's a very weird sound. Okay, I think I know where we are now. This is looking familiar. Pick up some more mushrooms while we're at it. Oh, yeah. You can see the glass. Of course, we are almost home. Of course, isn't it always like that? You, you're in a new place, but... Shush, Steam. Shush. Wow. Somebody wants to talk to me. Don't know if you guys can hear that, but someone is IMing me on Steam right now. Okay. Very nice. Drop off some goodies. <sighs> okay. Wow. Let's jump back in. Drop off some more of our treasures that we just picked up. Especially the glowstone. I want to get some of that. Start putting some of that to use. Nice. We is back. So yeah, don't forget guys. I would love to have your suggestions about what to do with this place. Awesome. Ugh, come on, mouse, click. Thank you. Yeesh. I swear, like I need to buy a new mouse. Like the wireless connection is all jittery. It's all freaking out on me. Um, no, what am I looking for? Where did I put the mushrooms? There they are. Okay. Haha, <laughs> nice. And put that back. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it here for tonight, guys. Um, don't know if this is the end of the chapter or not. I think I might try and put up a bunch of these episodes and then see what you guys think about what else we should try and do. I might do a little more exploring. I might go ahead and call it there. But I wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, leaving your comments. You guys are awesome people. And I will see you guys again in the next episode.